Well, and welcome to today's talk, Thursday the 8th of June. Now, I'm going to be showing you a video in a minute about the new cooperation between the World Health Organization and the European Union. Now, there's a new speak, um, I mean a new word here, um, called digital health. Now, until a few days ago, I can't say I'd ever heard of digital health certification or documentation, but there's this new idea digital health and apparently it's completely essential to your well-being so i think you better pay attention to this video now um this video contains no reference to signatures having state authority i'm pleased to say no mention of uh, totalitarian systems no mention of global surveillance no mention of coordinated global digital control uh, no mention of mission creep no mention of thin end of the wedge no mention of double speak and no mention of uh, sanctions for punishment. So don't worry, there's nothing to uh, be concerned about. Now, just before we watch the video, I just want to show you some posters that are completely uh, non-related to this, just a different topic. These are from the Ministry of Truth in Carlisle, which is where I live. Um, this first one is, says, how dare you question me? Uh, this next one says, how dare you think for yourself? We don't want people thinking for themselves. This next one says, dictators hate truth. Uh, how dare you have doubts is another poster from the Ministry of Truth in Carlisle. And seek truth, not power is another one. And uh, we also, when possible, like to light up darkness. Now, I'm pleased to say there's not actually a Ministry of Truth in Carlisle. That's actually a building occupied by some very friendly people. It's just rather brutalist architecture. Let's watch the video now. It's a great pleasure to be part of this signing ceremony for the WHO Global Digital Health Certification Network Uptake Ceremony. The COVID-19 pandemic highlighted the value of digital health solutions in facilitating access to health services. While the emergency phase of the COVID-19 pandemic is now over, investments in digital infrastructure remain an important resource for health systems and for economies and societies at large. Like many countries, the European Union made significant investments in COVID-19 certificates to help people move around as safely as possible during the pandemic. The European Union certification system was used by all 27 EU member states and more than 50 other countries. Building on the success of the EU system, WHO is proud today to launch the Global Digital Health Certification Network. So thank you so much to European uh, Union for the excellent certification system that you have transferred to us and we have the chance to build on it. WHO will begin operations of the network today with the existing COVID-19 certificate as a global public good. Soon after, we will expand this infrastructure by incorporating other uses, such as a digitized international certificate of vaccination, routine immunization cards, and international patient summaries. WHO will continue to work with all regions to ensure that the network is accessible globally incorporating relevant experiences and standards from other countries and regions. It's important to emphasize that privacy is key. WHO will not have any access to any personal health data. We will only maintain a directory of the public keys that can be used to verify the authenticity of a member state's digital health records. The Global Digital Health Certification Network will be an important part of our efforts to strengthen health systems and support our member states to prepare better for the next epidemic or pandemic. The network could also play a crucial role in cross-border humanitarian situations by ensuring people have access to their health records and credentials as they move across borders due to conflict, the climate crisis and other emergencies.
WHO would like to thank again the European Commission for its partnership and support and for advocating the EU member states and other participants that they migrate to the WHO network. I also thank the EU and WHO teams who worked hard to bring us to this moment. We very much value the European Commission's technical and financial support, and we very much hope that support will continue. WHO looks forward to implementing this administrative arrangement and furthering our collaboration so that all member states can equitably reap the benefits of this vital digital public infrastructure. I thank you and Katarina, back to you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros. I think this really summarizes why we at WHO are excited about this project, which really could leave an important global public good. Uh, and so, uh, um, you know, we look forward to hearing from you, Commissioner Kyriakides, about why this is important from an EU um, perspective. Thank you. Over to you. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Tedros. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to start by thanking you for inviting us to Geneva today. Uh, last November, I had the opportunity to welcome Dr. Tedros to Brussels, where we presented our vision for stronger cooperation and leadership through the EU Global Health Strategy. At that time, we agreed to work even closer together for better global health. The pioneering digital partnership we are launching today is the opening of a new chapter in our partnership. The WHO is a cornerstone of the global health architecture and an indispensable ally for our European Health Union. For the European Health Union, today is also an important day for our contribution to global health. A central pillar for the EU's COVID response is the EU Digital COVID Certificate, which is now being scaled up to global level. This was developed in record time, in the most difficult period of the pandemic. This unique open source system, built on the power of science to get our economies and our societies moving again. It showed our citizens the light at the end of the tunnel and protected at the same time public health amid the uncertainty of the pandemic. And this EU success story quickly became a global standard. We worked hard with all our international partners to ensure that their national certificates could be recognized under the EU COVID certificate framework. Today, the framework has already been taken up by almost 80 countries. It is truly an example of what we can achieve when the world comes together. And I'm delighted that as of July 1st, the World Health Organization will take up the framework of the EU Digital COVID Certificate. Although COVID-19 is no longer a public health emergency of international concern, this new system will remain a key part of our global preparedness to face future health threats. And through this system, we will build a genuine world standard in digital health documentation. Its global successor, the WHO Global Digital Health Certification Network, is the new chapter in the development of digital health. And as the pandemic has shown us all very clearly, digital health does have the ability to transform healthcare systems around the world and deliver better healthcare to citizens. To end, allow me just to say a few words on our cooperation with WHO in advancing global health more generally. I have said many times that a strong, accountable and well-resourced WHO must be the leading authority in a reinforced global health architecture. The EU will continue to play its part towards the central objective in the negotiations for an international pandemic agreement and the amendments to the international health regulations. And finally, in ending, Dr. Tredros, I would personally like to thank you for your cooperation, for your leadership, and for the valuable help during the pandemic, but also to arrive to today's good news. And I look forward to continuing our close collaboration through the strategic dialogue between the Commission and the WHO. I believe that, as in other occasions, 
during these last very difficult three and a half years. The WHO and the EU have come out stronger, have come out more determined, and we have come out more united to improve global health. And our con work continues to make this rea a reality and give hope for citizens worldwide. So once again, thank you. So on this uh, inspiring note, thank you so much uh, also for highlighting the importance of our partnership overall as well as the potential and opportunity of this specific project which we at WHO are deeply committed to build out from. We'll now move to the actual signing ceremony, the signing of the administrative arrangement and letter of intent. So there we have it. We have to learn some new language now, some new speak, don't we? Digital health certification and documentation. Interesting ideas, but obviously uh, indispensable. Um, now, this is necessary for uh, safely moving around the world, apparently. It's building on the excellent work from the European Union, their digital health apparatus developed during the pandemic. And this is for global public good, according to the speakers. So they're saying it's for global public good. You might have different opinions, but that's what, that's what they're saying. There's going to be progressively more digitalization. This is just the beginning of all these great things that are going to happen to improve. What was the phrase? Oh, that's right. Digital health digital health. Uh, you were pleased to hear that privacy data is going to be protected. Uh, this is going to improve access to health across borders and maybe even who travels across borders, who knows. And there's going to be a vital digital infrastructure between countries so they'll be able to talk to each other about, oh I don't know, maybe about me, who, who knows, I don't know what about. Uh, we learn that the European Union, the WHO, is an indispensable uh, ally. This is from Stella Kirk, uh, let's call her Stella K. Um, now, this new um, system in the European Union was developed in record time. And thankfully, it wasn't built at the speed of science. But it was built on the power of science. So it's got science in the sentence, therefore it must be good because it's built on the power of science and it gives hope for citizens worldwide. The European Union and the WHO are giving hope to citizens worldwide. Uh, built on the power of science, digital health certifications. And did you notice Stella crept in there, the international health regulations, which some people have critiqued in the past. And she appreciated the valuable help from Dr. Tedros. Um, during the pandemic. I can't quite think of an example now, but I'm sure there was plenty of uh, things that he did during the pandemic that were that were valuable and uh, they comment that it's uh, in inspiring. So um, pretty full-throated uh, endorsement there, really. Um, you might have con some concerns, but um, anyway, you might have some concerns, but... Um, Oh, there's that poster I put on earlier. Um, I, I'm sorry, this is a disconcerting video. I, I personally found it fairly terrifying, but um, we'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. <laughs>